Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be talking about a bunch of awesome stuff that's currently going on in online, like Rockstar handing out a bunch of free money opportunities, what we can be expecting next, and a whole lot more. So we've got a lot to jump into today, so let's not waste any more time, and let's get it started. So we're going to be starting off today by something that's interesting. It seems if Rockstar is not treating everyone fairly and are requiring people to do different amounts of work for the same amount of money. So do you guys remember this message right here? Well, it looks similar on the start, but it actually gets different. So it says, just for you, get a $250,000 reward for a limited time. And basically, this person was able to get this reward from now until September 19th. So that's great that Rockstar are extending it. But what's not great is that they're required to do five smugglers run missions and instead of two. So the other one we talked about was only two. This one was five. That's a big difference right there. So I thought that that was pretty funny that Rockstar is handing out discounts like this and they're extending it, which is great. But at the same rate, they're making some uh, people do different amounts. Some people only have to do two. I've seen some people have to do four and five in this case. So I thought that that was pretty interesting right there. They're also continuing the 50% cash back with any aircraft purchase. This seems to be the same and doesn't seem to be changed. Uh, so it's not like they're only giving some players 30% discounts or 40. This one looks to be relatively the same. Uh, but I just wanted to let you guys know that that is still going on. Like, for example, this one's ending on the 14th. And there might be some that are lasting a little bit longer than that. The next message we need to look at actually confirms the secret sales that we touched on yesterday. And there is nothing different. There's 25% off some military grade vehicles like the weaponized Tampa, Bravado Half Track, and Dune FAV. And then 30% off of all upgrades and add ons to the bunker. So those are your targeted sales this week in Grand Theft Auto Online. They're the exact same ones that we talked about uh, yesterday, but now you just officially see them on the GTA loading screen. I do apologize about the quality of some of these images, but these are some other discounts that are going on. This is for some players, get equipped with bonus cash for buying a shark card for a limited time. So basically Rockstar is offering a $1 million bonus for purchasing a great white shark card and above. So I'm pretty sure the great white shark card is the $1.25 million one, uh, which is actually pretty interesting. Interesting. So if you purchase that, your shark card will actually be worth 2.25 million, which is really cool. And once again, all these offers are ending on random dates like September 19th or September 14th. So they may be different for you or they might be the same. But for the most part, all your cash will take at least 72 hours to be deposited. Now, speaking of shark cards, quick reminder, I have my own shark card giveaway that's going on right now. So what would be really cool is if the person who won my shark card giveaway had one of these discounts going on and they were able to get some sort of pretty cool bonus like that so that's actually awesome so once again that's going to be ending on friday on my channel but do keep in mind that that is currently going on this looks to be another shark card deal going on special deal just for you 15 percent off the megalodon shark cards and 10 percent off the whale shark cards so this makes the shark cards a little bit better i still don't recommend you buy a shark card unless you have like a massive bonus like 50 percent extra 75 percent extra even 100 percent extra but 15% off the Megalodon, not all that terrible. 10% off the Whale Shark cards, not all that bad. And that exclusive offer looks to be ending at, this, at the same time as the targeted sales on Monday, September 18th. So that's another offer that seems to be going around for certain players. This is another offer that's going around as well. Limited time offer, get $425,000 bonus cash for buying a shark card. So this one is kind of similar to the one we just looked at, but it's a little bit different. You get bonus cash for whatever shark card you end up purchasing, and that one actually ends today. So like I said, the dates, the amounts, and the types of offers are all going to vary depending on how lucky you get or which one Rockstar decides to ultimately give to you. And once again, as a continuation of whatever Rockstar seems to be doing. They're just handing out free money. This guy got $750,000 deposited into their account and that's it. They didn't have to do anything. So sometimes you'll just get free money just because other times you'll have to do some pretty random stuff uh, in order to earn it. Now, one other thing that I saw was pretty interesting and you guys might be able to help me out with this. I saw this message that was sent in by one of my followers on Twitter. It was your transaction is complete, but exceeds the maximum balance. Your newly purchased GTA money will be added to your account once your balance is sufficiently under the limit. What the heck does that mean? 
So it seems if this individual tried to purchase a shark card, but now got rejected in getting the money, I really don't know what's going on here, but that seems incredibly odd. So hopefully you guys aren't seeing this. And if you are seeing this, hopefully it's nothing rather than something pretty serious. So those are all the current sales and bonuses and stuff like that that are going on this week as far as free money and shark cards and bonuses and stuff like that. So that is pretty cool. Now let's talk about what we could possibly expect next week and what sort of content we have left. So Rockstar obviously yesterday released the Debachi Rapid GT Classic. Uh, they also did a couple other discounts, bonuses, and all of those bonuses are ending on September 18th, which means the next time we're going to see the tunables update and the next time we're gonna be getting a new vehicle is going to be on Tuesday, September 19th. Now, the reason we know it's going to be one vehicle is it looks like Rockstar are going to continue that pattern. With them only releasing the Debachi Rapid GT Classic uh, yesterday, it's safe to say that for the next 10 weeks, we're going to get one vehicle at a time, especially with the price of some of them. It wouldn't make sense for Rockstar to do two at a time because honestly, some people probably wouldn't be able to fund 10 or $11 million worth of vehicles at once. So that's probably a smart move by them to kind of spread it out and to keep it going over those 10 weeks for one vehicle at a time. Let's talk about what the possibilities are. And since the Debachi Rapid GT Classic has released, there's only a handful of potential vehicles vehicles that could come out. One of those potential vehicles is the Coil Cyclone, an electric supercar based off of the Rimac Concept 1. So if that vehicle does come out, it will be $1,890,000 two-seater electric car supercar from Coil. That's a possibility. And then realistically, the only other possibility is the RM10 Bambushka, which once again, its price is between $4,450,000 if you have the trade-in amount or $5,918,000. It's the air MOC of the sky that can fit six players in total. So there's two other vehicles that could technically be released, but the way that they are, I guess, laid out on the Warstock Cash and Carry site, it wouldn't make sense. And that's the Vigilante and the Laser. However, it looks as if Rockstar are going to be saving the Vigilante, the Batmobile for Halloween. And it looks like the Laser is going to be like the grand finale, the one that releases at the end. So honestly, it's going to be the Coil Cyclone or the Bombushka. I think Rockstar would do the Bombushka and save the Coil Cyclone for some time later. And there's two vehicles that are left on Elitis, but due to the way the order works in terms of like how you get the trade-in price goes, the Howard and the Seabreeze are farther down on the list. So it's unlikely that we would see those because they would have to jump over the Bumbushka. So it's likely going to be the Bumbushka. Uh, it could be the Coil Cyclone, but I wouldn't see them doing back-to-back -back vehicles. That just wouldn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Now, if Rockstar do release the Bumbushka, which is looking like to be the plan, do know that there is an adversary mode tied to the Bumbushka, this airplane called Bumbushka Run. So that does sound exciting. And I've always said that the adversary modes that Rockstar base around vehicles are typically the best. So I am excited for that as it should be pretty cool. Uh, most of the vehicle adversary modes they do are way better than like the PVP or even PV enemy adversary modes that they introduce into the game. Now just a couple other things because they didn't introduce a free item or accessory or t-shirt or hat into the game this week. There's probably a good chance that they'll end up doing that next week whenever the new vehicle releases. We'll obviously get our standard event week and everything like that. So it should be pretty exciting to look forward to. Just know that we have a lot of content left in the files but it's looking like the Bombushka is gonna be released next or the Coil Cyclone. Those are like the only two real obvious choices that could come out, unless Rockstar were to just completely break their pattern and completely break what the website shows us right now. But anyways, that's all the information that I'm gonna be talking about for you guys in this video today. Let me know in the comment section down below a couple things. Number one, what new vehicle do you think is gonna be coming out next week on Tuesday? Is it gonna be the Bombushka? Is it gonna be the Coil Cyclone? Also, have you received any of the, I guess, money discounts or loading screens or free money from Rockstar. If you have, be sure to let me know in either the comment section down below or on Twitter. I'd love to see what you guys are getting as far as money goes uh, and stuff like that. Quick reminder, I've got the shark card giveaway going on in the description, so don't forget about that. And I will also be live streaming later today. I know it's been a little bit, been dealing with hurricane issues and stuff like that, but my power is back on. I don't know if you guys follow me on Twitter or not. You should though, because of the shark card giveaways and stuff, but my power is back on yesterday 
today, which means I have the ability to stream and we'll be doing that later this afternoon. But like I said, that's all I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating on the video. That'd be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.